Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe and today I'm here with three really easy face painting looks that you and your kids will love. So I thought, with summer's just around the corner, face painting is a really good way to add a little bit of fun during the summer holidays. I thought I'd share with you three different looks that are all really easy, really quick and you don't need a lot of products to achieve them. So before I start, I'm going to talk about the basics of face painting. If you've never done it, these are basically like the, not rules, but things that may be helpful or things to stick to. The first one, and probably the most critical one, is only use things that are actually made for your face on your face. Don't use like acrylic paint or anything that's not made for your face. Like if things are made for painting on paper or on wood or on the walls, leave them for that. Don't put them on your face. It's not good for your face and there's no need for it because you can buy face paints for really affordable cheap prices. And for the purpose of this video actually, I'm going to be using all Snazzaroo paints. I have all mine in this big palette, but you can buy them individually. These actually I bought individually, I'll just put them in this palette for like, for me, for easiness and so I don't have to like de-lid every single one every time. Obviously you don't need that many if you're just going for like one look, just get the colours from that. If you're just going for a couple of looks, just get the colours you need, you don't need everything. If you just want to be really creative or let your kids be really creative and you don't necessarily want colours for specific looks, just get your primary colours, just get yellow, blue and red and then get green because that's always a good colour to have and black and white and you can do whatever you want, the possibilities are endless. I've also for today just got a selection of brushes, you don't have to spend a lot on brushes, you can buy really cheap ones from fancy dress stores or in supermarkets that sometimes sell them as well, especially like um, around Halloween time they always sell face painting brushes. Or you could even use brushes to use for painting, just make sure they're clean and that you wash them with something that's okay for your face. And then I just have a little pot of water. You can get these little um, fancy pots. I actually have one that are split into different sections for cleaning different brushes and all this. But to be honest, just a little pot of water will do the job just fine. The first thing I'm going to do is a flower look. Flowers are really simple to paint, you need no artistic skill at all. Flower petals are really easy to paint, all you need is a brush with this kind of style. Brushes like this are really good because all you need to do is get the brush and push it onto your hand to create the petal shape. I'll show an example now. So you just get the brush, line it up and push down. And obviously if you repeated that in a circle shape, it will kind of come into a centre point it would create flower petals. Another really good trick to do is to add more than one colour to the brush. I like to load up my brush with one colour, then dip it into another colour just at the tip or just up to halfway and it makes it look like you're really good at face painting. So just dip your brush into a colour, wet the brush again and then dip it into another colour. I'm going for pink and yellow. So now when I push that down, you can see that it's got two colours on it. So basically depending on the size of the petals you want, it depends on the size of brush that you want. I'm going for the medium one out of these three, um, but if you're working on quite a small face or quite a big face, you might want to vary the size of brush. I do white flower petal with pink middles to start with. Lay that flat. So you're left with something that looks kind of like this. Then just repeat as many as you want all over the face. You can obviously change the colours and things as well as much as you want to. I'm now just going to take a smaller brush. I'm taking one actually in the same kind of style as we used before, just a bit smaller. Um, I'm going to dip it in some water, dip it into my white shade, and then just do some dots around the flowers. I think it just looks really pretty. You can, of course, also add a centre to your flower. Again, I like to just stick to white dots for this. So this is the first look complete. Thank you. 
The next look is a caterpillar look and it's super simple. All you need is a brush like this with a round top. But if you don't have a brush like this, any kind of brush will do. You could even use one of these longer ones. I'm then gonna mix two different greens together just to get the green that I would like. Then I'm gonna start here and work my way down my face. I'm going to do a bigger circle right at the start so that way the caterpillar's head. Then I'm going to take a really small brush and some black paint to draw on his legs. And then two dots for eyes. A smiley face. And just final touches. So sorry for the sudden makeup change and outfit change, I've actually filmed this on a different day. I originally had a completely different design idea for the third design, however when I was editing it I just really wasn't happy with the design so I decided to just film it again. I know it kind of looks a bit weird now I'm wearing different makeup and I'm wearing a different top, but I just thought it would be better for me to be happy with the final design than unhappy with it. So for the third and final design I'm going to show you how to do a rainbow design. Instead of taking every colour, I'm going to take every other just because I think it will be actually neater in the long run. So instead of taking red, orange, yellow, I'm just taking red and yellow then overlapping them slightly. And then for the clouds, I'm going to take the same round brush as we used earlier. However, if you don't have a brush like this, you could use any of the others I've used previously, or you could actually use a sponge for this. I'm just going to dip it in to my water and I think the trick here is going to be to make sure it's nice and thick so it doesn't run. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you would like another one of these videos with three more looks in it, just let me know in the comment section below or by giving this video a thumbs up. All my social media links will be down below. Um, I've done other face painting looks on my blog as well, so I'll link those down below. Basically everything's been down below. And thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye.